So I want to talk about Bunny Joshua Brown and the audacity of these hateful YouTube niggas, okay? Now, I did a live stream very early this morning giving my thoughts on the Joshua Brown case, okay? And I want to let you all know that my opinion is different from a lot of people's because based on the information that I was able to find, I do not believe that the Dallas Police Department was involved in his murder, but I'll get into that in a minute. Now, after my live stream uploaded, a young lady commented and she mentioned Bunny. And I was like, at the time, I couldn't remember who that was. And then a little bit later, I was like, oh, snap. That's the black girl who lived in the apartment complex who recorded Amber Geiger. And apparently part of her recording either shows the shooting of Botham Jean or the immediate aftermath. So Bunny was brave enough to take that recording to the police department but the prosecution put her under a gag order. So she can't talk about anything that she saw, you know, and they have that video and the video has never been released to the public. And things got so bad for Bunny that she had to go into hiding. And this poor woman, this poor, you know, brave black woman lost her job. And whatever type of work she did required her to have a professional license. They took her license from her too. So after Joshua Brown was murdered this weekend, you had these black men on social media basically acting like Joshua Brown is a martyr and suggesting that Bunny was weak for not being willing to testify and almost acting like they wanted her to be killed too. Now, before I go any further for the intellectually impaired, no, I'm not saying that Joshua Brown deserved to die. But what I am saying is that there are some key details about his life that the media is either just glossing over or they're outright ignoring. Listen, somebody that he knew attempted to kill him in November of last year. And there were two suspects in that case. They shot him, but obviously didn't kill him in November. But they killed another associate at the scene. So basically, Joshua Brown was a witness in two murder cases. The murder case of Botham Jean and also a murder case where one of his friends was killed and where someone attempted to kill him. The actual person who attempted to kill him and actually killed his friend, is still at large. The second suspect in the case was arrested and has been out on bond for a while. So I'm like, okay, that those are two obvious people with a very obvious reason to want him dead because he would really be the only person that would be able to testify against them you know, when it comes time for the murder trial in this other case. And the guy who was actually killed in that situation is a guy named Nicholas Diggs. Okay. And if you look at the most recent CNN story on the Joshua Brown murder, you'll see all of the information about the November case. So all of these men on social media, these black men trying to act like, oh, Joshua Brown died a martyr and he died for the cause and he was willing to testify and this other girl was too afraid. He was, Joshua Brown was not willing to testify. Okay, now the national news media is finally admitting that Joshua Brown did not want to testify in the Botham Jean case because he felt like the visibility would put a target on his back since he was the witness in this other murder case. And the only reason he actually showed up to testify is because he was subpoenaed. Okay, so basically he, he was forced to. But you have this situation where the core of the issue is that a man was sitting up in his apartment and was shot and killed. And see, these niggas keep acting like they don't know the whole ass position that they're in in this country. And yeah, I'm going to have to go there with you. 
okay? You are at such a lowly position in this country that a white woman can walk into your house. So basically she can break into your house, shoot you and kill you, attempt to use the castle doctrine to get off and only get 10 years. See, that's your real problem. Okay? Your real problem is this country can sun you in your own fucking houses. And instead of focusing on that, anytime you can make this about black women, that's what you do. Oh, the judge gave Amber Geiger a hug. Okay, well, so did Botham Jean's brother. And Botham Jean's own father said that he would like to be friends with Amber Geiger. You know what? You know how fucked up you have to be to befriend the nasty piece of shit that killed your kid? You spineless ass niggas. But instead of calling that out, it's, oh, well, the bailiff stroked her hair. Okay, but that man's own father wants to be friends with the woman that killed his son. Mm -hmm. So you ignore all of that. And then when Joshua Brown is killed this weekend, everybody ignores the fact that, you know, two black men attempted to kill him last year. They ignore the fact that, hmm, th this is an odd, you know, set of events where he testifies in a high profile case and then he's killed 10 days after he testifies. No one wants to talk about that at all. Everyone's just ignoring that. But all y'all want to get up here and do is say, well, the black woman hid and she wouldn't testify. She's a woman, probably afraid for her life and who probably doesn't want to lose any more than what she's already lost. She was already brave enough to stand there and, you know, record a psychotic, deranged heifer who had just broke into a man's apartment and murdered him. She was brave enough to take that recording to the Dallas Police Department only to lose her livelihood. So, yes, as a woman, she was afraid. And if she's a smart black woman, she knows that she can't rely on you spineless ass bitches to defend her or protect her. And I bet you the majority of the people that raised that $30,000 in the GoFundMe were probably not black men. It was probably black women and other races of people. And I hope you bitches have all the egg and mud and shit on your faces. If it comes out that the Dallas PD had nothing to do with Joshua Brown's murder. And if it turns out that his murder was just a typical everyday average nigga shit. Where you dumb, ruthless, evil, barbaric motherfuckers. Get into dumbass disagreements with each other and kill each other over dumb shit.